There's a history here behind the Falkirk Wheel. 250 years of canal history. From those great civil engineers of Smeaton, Telford and Watt, they built the canals of Scotland. And way back then, 250 years ago, there was real hard issues around about transport, travelling around Scotland. And these characters came forth with big ideas, big engineering and mixing both an aesthetic art and engineering together to deliver across Scotland a network of canals. Those canals were prospered. They prospered through the 18th century and the 19th century. And then slowly and surely, as the 20th century came about, the railway started to take over. And then we saw the, the growth of roads and motorways. And by the 1950s, the central Scotland canals were seen as something that was dead and gone. And that led to the closure of these canals in the 1960s. Many of them filled in for motorways, many of them filled in to make way for new utilities and new bridges, and they were lost to Scotland. And from that point of decline in the 1960s, civic society rose up and said, this isn't acceptable. We want to reopen these canals. We want to bring them back to life. And civic society said, stop building motorways on top of these canals. They have a purpose and they can be brought back to life. And engineers then engaged in that conversation. And the engineers of, uh, of that time came forth with a project called the Millennium Link. 83 and a half million pound was raised for this project to remove 36 major obstructions from across these canals in Scotland. And importantly, to rejoin the Union Canal with the Forth and Clyde Canal. And the problem there was there was a hundred and 10 feet difference between those two canals and they needed to come up with a concept that would connect them. The connection used to be 11 locks in a field not far from here today, but those 11 locks had been built on, tower blocks had been built on top of them and the engineers had to move and stretch the canal further out of town and create a new connection. It had to be a 21st century connection, something that would grab people's imagination, something that would say these canals are back here for the future, something that would transform this area of Scotland. And they came through various different designs and eventually they came to this idea of the Falkirk Wheel as you see behind me today. A fantastic structure, 35 metres high, 1,800 tonnes moving and lifting boats. So within that there's 1,300 tonnes of steel 500 tonnes of water and it works in a really, really efficient way. A 21st century structure here that can lift uh, boats from, uh, from down the basin all the way up into the sky and along a 100 metre aqueduct through a tunnel and then up and onto the Union Canal. But the wonderful thing about it is Archimedes' principle. That ancient Greek engineer came up with the, uh, the principle that uh, anything that uh, sits in, in water will displace its own weight in water. And that is the key to the Falkirk wheel. It's a really simple piece of engineering brought together on a hillside in Falkirk that now sees almost 700,000 people a year coming out to visit, to learn about engineering, to engage with those principles and to experience the wonderful Falkirk wheel. So civil engineers, through the Millennium Link and through the building of the Falkirk Wheel, created a navigation. But what they also did was create a corridor of opportunity for Scotland. So that £83.5 million that was invested in the Millennium Link has now seen nearly £900 million of regeneration and new developments on the banks of what were a completely abandoned asset. Civil engineering has been at the absolute heart of that. As engineers, we are repurposing these canals. We're looking for what they can be for the 21st century. This is civil engineering, and this is revolutionary.